Uh, this was my homage to Friedrich Nietzsche, who is one of my great heroes. Uh, uh, and this painting is named after uh, Nietzsche's Latin motto, uh, which is amor fati, amor fati, which means literally love fate. And uh, I'm, uh, in, in 99, 2000, I decided I had to try a true sort of Baroque religious painting, but lacking any coherent faith except in painting. Uh, I, my, my actors become, you know, models as furies and angels and, uh, uh, you know, young male painters who are trying to eat my lunch as tormentors, you know, and uh, uh, those are a bunch, of, actually, in the uh, accompanying show, you'll see some beautiful paintings by John Lee and Dave Campbell. Dave Campbell is the guy on the left uh, by the mailbox, uh, and John Lee is the guy in the leather coat and the white gray windbreaker uh, who have become highly distinguished painters. They always were, but now they're even more so. Uh, this painting was done in 2001, uh, uh, and it was a return to still life. I, I, I always paint still lifes, but every now and then I'll try to find some way to raise the stakes for myself. This is, um, last painting you saw was eight feet tall. This painting is uh, five and a half by nine feet, I think it is. Uh, and it's called Betrothal Still Life. It's another painting about that kind of call and echo across the uh, inside outside, but it's also a little bit of a tip of the hat to Van Eyck's Arnolfini wedding. And this is a sort of gendering of still life into male and female entities uh, 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 in that beautiful light of my studio. And this worked on for a, actually what, it, this one came fast, it was maybe 20 sittings. Uh, sorry this is a dark painting slide, but it is a dark painting. This was also painted in 2001, and it's a summation of studio life uh, uh, where the, the light of the painting is a lot to do with keying everything to that mirror reflection, something you know, I've done habitually over the years because I just like it so much, uh, but I don't think I'd ever try to do it at this scale. Uh, there's lots of little interesting things in the painting, but the one thing I will say is the wall of postcards, which is like a little half wall that floated in my studio, I always thought of that wall of postcards is like a DNA chart. And, uh, uh, and there's a sense in which those shapes and forms uh, uh, of master paintings that I would look at become sort of like the chromosomes of, of pictorial design, if that makes any sense. Uh, this is the fall of 2001. This was actually painted, I remember I was working on this painting when 911 happened. Uh, it was uh, this ungodly beautiful fall of 2001. And uh, the, uh, uh, the painting sort of unfolded from September to November of that, of that fall and uh, was another, I, I didn't quite know it, but I was a year away from leaving this beautiful studio. We, we got kicked out because the building got condoized. Uh, and this became, I think, a last uh, uh, testament about this dreamy world that had meant so much to me the previous you know, 10, 12 years. Uh, this was painted in 2001. It's called uh, Betty Loves Shelves, and it's a sort of dramatis personae, or a kind of an array of, of, uh, of, of still life characters uh, that are, yeah, I, I, there's not a big story to go with it. I think this was a, a kind of bravura painting to sort of see how much I could do with layers of space and light in a very shallow, literal space. It's about 50, 60 inches tall. Uh, 